peace, so please keep your mind at ease. It's obvious. In order to achieve your ultimate reality, you have to go through a period of sacrifice. And that's what I've been personally going through at this moment. So that's where I've been all this time. Just want to make this video, give you a, a little update on my journey um, and where I've been. What have I been manifesting? Because most of you guys know I've been manifesting, um, you know, like I, I speak about manifesting a lot and achieving my dream reality. And so this is how I'm going about it. You may have seen my, pers my previous video where I talked about how you know, stop affirmations and actually just do this, do the thing. Like really, that was the main point. It's like do the, perform the inputs that get you to your goal, right? And so that's what I've been really focusing in on. And the biggest thing I want to just tell you is that I've been going through a season of focus and sacrifice. And like, personally, this is how I kind of see it. It's like if you don't, if you don't have, if you don't do this thing, then it's going to, it's going to make your it's gonna make it so much harder for you to actually achieve that ultimate reality that you're striving for, okay? So, I've been going through a period of sacrifice and I've been going through a period of business growth. Um, maybe you've seen that I've been working on building my marketing agency and it's been going really well. But why am I doing this? Why am I building a, a, a marketing agency? It's because my goal, my, my ultimate goal has been for the longest time is to achieve financial independence, right? So my first vehicle that I, that I you know, uh, tried to um, achieve this through was through music, really. It was like through, through the music, through the content. And um, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't just for financial independence by no means at all. The music, making music, spiritual music and the content is just for the sake of making it. And that's why, um, you know, I still make content for the sake of making content. It's my favorite thing to do, really. It's one of my ultimate favorite things to do is just to make content. And so making music, I, you know, my, for a while there, I was really just trying to become, you know, just, just a musician and content creator that, um, um, you know, that I was gonna reach financial independence through that means. And so I'm still actually a full-time content creator, but it's in a different way a little bit. Um, and music is not the ultimate way for me to achieve that financial independence. There's a better vehicle that I found and that is what I've been putting my attention towards is absolutely the marketing agency because, you know, I, my goal, my the thing that I wanna manifest more than anything, you know, is to achieve um, providing and taking care of my loved ones like that's 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 what I, that's all I want to do is to provide for my loved ones like like um, just on the highest level like so that money is just never going to be an issue right because as a spiritual soul this is what I've been really thinking about too is as a spiritual soul um, you you start to really, really hate, you know, being constrained, right? You are, you start realizing as you go through the spiritual journey that you're not just a physical body, right? You're a spiritual body. So now once you learn this, once you learn that you're a spiritual uh, being, like you're, you're a spirit, your soul within a physical body. And once after you go through, you know, astral projections, that kind of thing, then you start realizing like, oh, I want more. Like I want, I want to experience more of this freedom, right? You, I want to experience more of this freedom. So actually, spirituality and astral projection has pushed me more towards business because I see that business is uh, the gateway to actually breaking out of the matrix and to actually um, to achieve more freedom than uh, living a life where, um, you know, you just, it's always a pain to, to, to pay for shit. Like, no, nah, I don't want to live that kind of life. You know, I'm, you know, I am this interdimensional being. I am the soul within this physical body and it's already a pain enough <laughs> that, you know, we can't fly. We can't, you know, do the things that we can in the astrals, right? So what else am I going to do to achieve that, uh, next level of freedom is going to be to build a business. To build a business so that way um, 
you know, I, I, you, you start to connect more to that source. But in the same time, it's not completely breaking out of the matrix. We're still playing within the matrix, but it's 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 still um, it's still freedom, right? Financial independence. It's hard to it's hard to really debate that because when you don't have to worry about uh, you know paying for anything, then you just feel free, right? You just feel free. So how am I achieving this? How am I going towards my business? What I've been doing is going through a period of brutal, brutal sacrifice and uh, pain. And what is this pain is, um, it's actually just not working on music as much, right? So I have, I do have such a big backlog of music, so much music planned and pre being prepared, but within like the last year or two, it's, I haven't been working on it that much, really. Within, I mean, within the last year for sure, I have not been working on music. Uh, like barely like we here and there just you know I got projects planned but it's it's a painful thing because you know making music is definitely one of my most favorite things in the world to do and to make spiritual music that's gonna help people ascend their consciousness but at the same time I know that I have to take care of my loved ones I have to take care of myself and achieve this financial independence and I just cannot split my time doing both things, constantly working on my music and constantly working on the business. It just doesn't work. I literally tried it last year um, and it was very, it was, it was very painful experience. It was very hard to grow the business when I was, I was, I was taking a lot of time to uh, work on the music. It was just so, so hard because the attention gets split into two ways and um, the energy is just being that dispersed and it's like, how can you achieve such a high level, like huge goal when the energy is being dispersed in different directions? It becomes so, so hard. You know, that's why I cut off. Uh, that's why I had to like kind of let go of music for this, for the just this season. Um, I, I actually shut down my fiber. That was my, one of my first, uh, like, uh, that was one of my ways that I, transitioned into online money you know is through the music engineering uh running fi running ads for musicians um i cut that out because now i'm just focused on uh this this main service offer of making content for brands um mental health uh mental health awareness we're doing a lot of amazing work right now in my agency Puzvi for mental health content helping to save lives so we're literally saving lives so i'm still like a full-time content creator but in a way that i actually have a team that is performing the content creation for um for clients and still super fulfilling you know i love this work i love this business the marketing agency it's absolutely amazing and it's actually really fulfilling so it's not like um it's not like a it's not like i dislike it no i love it i love business i love marketing i love content it's definitely one of my ultimate favorite things to do but at the same time i had to make such a brutal sacrifice very painful sacrifice of letting go of music for uh, a period of time for this season i don't know how long it's gonna last but um you know i definitely i'm getting i, I am getting close to finishing uh, a project and i cannot wait until it's done but i just cannot keep putting time into it uh, while I'm in the season of financial independence and when I know how I'm in this this vehicle of this this marketing agency that is uh, if I just keep you know going at this in the next 10 years that you know financial independence is gonna be it's gonna be here you know and that's how I'm seeing it I'm not gonna let go of music for 10 years you know I'm gonna have projects dropping in that meantime but another painful thing that I've had to do let go of and sacrifice and which has been really painful is also astral projection. Um, I've been doing astral projection for many years, and you know the last few years really have, has not been that much. Has not been that much. So within the last year, no, like have not been projecting. And while it is such an amazing tool for spiritual growth and consciousness ascending, uh, my consciousness in ways that are just not explainable by words like it's just like 
it's just not. <laughs> when, when, when you astral eject, you lucid dream, whatever, you reach that phase state. Um, it's hard to explain in words, in human words, what that does to yourself. Like, it, it's so hard to explain because it's, it's within dimensions beyond the third dimension. So putting the 4D, you know, 4D, fourth dimension, 5D, uh, that's hard to put into 3D terms, right? So that's why um, it's hard to actually explain it, but, and it actually, it's hard to articulate how to explain that sacrifice too. Um, but, uh, I mean, yeah, astral projection is definitely like, it's just, it's such a fun thing to do. Such a fun thing to do. But, fortunately, that is a thing that has to go a little bit on the back burner while, uh, you know, my goal right now is to build this business. And, you know, I just, I really feel like, you know, you, you can't have it all at least at once. Like, at, le at least maybe not in the beginning stages of, um, I mean, yeah, maybe you can have it all at once, and it'll all, it'll kind of all be mediocre. So when I when I when I was making music, I was all in. I was all in, and that's why I, you know, subjectively, I got so good at making music. Like I feel like, you know, I became an absolute. I feel like I became a beast at making that music. Them bangers spiritual bangers it's because i went all in like people don't understand this they think that they can just do uh they they they'll say they have this goal and then they'll they'll do all these other things at the same time it's like nah you're gonna be me mediocre at it if you just like do it a little bit at a time so while i was making music and i was doing uh i was astral projecting i was all in on these things like i was astral projecting like i was meditating every like daily every single i was meditating every single day and there was periods of times where i would just meditate daily for hours like for hours like so um yeah i went all in and i that's why i got really good at you know what i think is really good at astral projection maybe i will i mean i'm sure there's of course people much better at astral projecting than me whatever i don't care but um like for me i like me versus myself, I got really good at astral projecting and uh, it took a lot of patience, took a lot of focus, like insane amounts of focus. Uh, and I was in, that was a season of music, that was a season of spirituality, uh, ascending, ascending consciousness, astral projection, lucid dreaming, and I was all in on those things, like mainly just all in on those things. And now, I've just become, just went in all in on um, my business, right? And so, Boozvi is my business, my marketing agency, and I'll talk more about it in another video. I don't wanna make this video too long, but I, I definitely wanna talk about it more because it, it has a lot of spirituality intertwined in this marketing agency. You know, we are working with a lot of mental health clients. We're saving lives with our content, so it's so, so, so fulfilling. But now it's time to make this uh, time to achieve financial independence and really, really grow this business because we've been growing a lot, growing a lot. And um, I've been growing a lot as a business owner. Uh, within the last year, things have really been taking off. Um, but I want to take it off so, so, so much more. And so, yeah, yeah. So this has been just a period of of extreme sacrifice like not working on music and it's it's fucking hard you know what i mean like i like because music's still such a big part of my life obviously like i'm always like thinking about music shit um but uh, definitely not as much but i want to work on it i still have that itch and ultimately the biggest takeaway i want for you to have is if you if you have something that you really want to achieve then just go all in like go all in zone in on your focus and don't disperse yourself like if you have all these different things that you want to do like just choose like one or two like things that you want to do and that that you want to focus on um because you're just going to be mediocre at all the things if you just have so many different things you want to do all at once and become a beast at all at once you're going to be like you're not going to be as good as you can be if you just focused in all on one thing or like two things right so uh, I'm just all in right now in this season of growing my business, manifesting 
what is my dream life you know as as I get financial independence it will free up more time for me as well to to work on spirituality and music and that's really been the goal is to have that freedom time freedom because that's what a business allows you to do and that's why I feel like being spiritual and owning a business actually correlates really well because it's freeing up my time it's allowing me to do more things actually instead of being you know working on like an hourly basis or something like that for a business for another owner um and uh yeah just de definitely do not feel fulfilled um uh, being an employee i've definitely not been fulfilled by doing that and i feel like being a spiritual person i have to be a business owner and so that's the route i've been taking and if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos um yeah you can also follow me on boozy boozy media my that's my youtube channel where i talk about how you can grow your social media and earn more money as a result of um social media and growing your brand because ultimately, I think I think this is an amazing vehicle that anyone can really start getting into. Um, personal branding is, is 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 so powerful. So if you're interested in that, you can see I post a lot on there. And uh, the camera's about to die. So peace, oh please, keep your mind at ease. It's obvious.